finally sold a kidney and bought this, the Grizzly Model G1023RL 10-inch table saw. Okay, not a kidney, but just the entirety of my old shop. Let's get into it. The saw was delivered in two large boxes. The first included the body of the saw and all its functional attachments. To include the assembly instructions, blade, blade adjustment hand wheels, access panels, faceplate, quick release blade guard and spreader, riving knife, table extension, dust collection port, a few push sticks, and the wrenches needed to replace the blade. Once I had all the attachments offloaded, I set about getting the table saw off the stripping pallet and onto what would become a low boy mobile base. You think my footwear is bad. Once on the framework of the base, I removed the motor stabilization mechanism used during shipment. Then removed the mounted power switch so I could mount the table extensions. The instructions recommend a second person as the plates are heavy, but using the bolts as an extra pair of hands helped in my singularity. After getting the bolts loosely placed, I used a level to ensure the extensions lined up with the table. Degreasing the connecting surfaces proved an important step. With the extensions on, I replaced the power switch. Installed the motor access door. put the blade height and blade tilt wheels in place. then installing the side access panel. After that, I set about degreasing the rust-resistant substance that protected the tabletop during shipping. Next, the second box that arrived with the shipment, which held the fence components. To include the front and rear rails, the front rail tube, a shop box rip fencing system, and a fence scale indicator strip, AKA a tape measure sticker. I started by installing the front rail, ensuring the top met the lip of the beveled tabletop. Then I degreased the anti-rust substance from the front rail tube. And using one set of the provided adjustment spacers, installed the rail tube so the fence would glide over the tabletop.
Then I installed the rear rail using a similar method. With the fence mechanism in place, I turned to mobilizing the workbench by installing levering casters. I had to create a longer, quote unquote, leg off a low boy base and install a brace at the top to help distribute the weight of this cast iron machine during the levering action. After that, I adjusted the set screws in the shop box fence for a better, more square fit. I'll ensure a more dialed in cut with the saw dial indicator later. Next, I installed the blade and riving knife. Then, mounted and dialed in the faceplate to be flush with the table. After that, I degreased the miter gauge. And gave the whole table a wax down. Time to test her out. Cuts like butter. After a couple initial test runs, I'm pretty excited about not only the function of this machine, but how quiet it is as it takes my shop to a whole new level. Next time, I continue building out my new shop with the creation of a combination workbench router table. Until then.